today Amanda uh, left to go stay with a friend for a couple days. She told me a couple days ago that she was going to do it. Our friend Tiffany, actually the girl that painted that thing, that red thing back there. She also lives in Los Angeles. Um, now you may think that if someone leaves to get away that it's a problem with the relationship because I used to think that stuff I used to think if someone were to get a separation it's done that that may as well be a divorce um you may think that you may not I don't know I don't I remember when Amanda was really 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 depressed I I wanted I told her I wanted some space so I took it I went and stayed with a friend a couple nights um and she was cool with it I told her it's not, I'm not I don't want to leave you I just got to get away from this I needed to let my mind relax a little bit maybe I didn't need to but I, I chose to it was really bad it was really hard um so I'll tell you a little bit about my relationship with Amanda because I never really talk about it much. I talk about what happened eight months ago. I don't really talk about the situation and I kind of don't talk about it because I feel bad talking about it because it's like, it's about Amanda too, you know? What right do I have to talk about Amanda? Well, I have all the right in the world to talk about anything I want to talk about. She is really depressed right now. That I believe she is. She doesn't really have many friends in Los Angeles. She's very hung up on Ohio, her family. She's always worried about Ohio or her family or something back in Ohio. And she, because she's very depressed, she doesn't have a lot of friends. Because she doesn't have a lot of friends, she's very depressed. Just recently, a couple weeks ago, we were kind of getting involved in this theater company a little more. Things are very positive right now, but. The situation as it stands is that she doesn't really have many friends. She is like crying, talking about, I wish I had some place I could go to stay. And because of this, she's always home. She's either working, she works four nights a week for like seven hours at a time, or four hours at a time. And then she's here. She goes to yoga sometimes in the middle of the day. But she's here. She's here and she is just walking around wanting my attention a lot of times. She'll like just stare at me. She'll sit, she'll get pissed off at me if I'm doing something. It's so fucking exhausting. I want her to go make new friends. I want her to have friends that she spends time with, people that she spends time with other than me. That's what I want. That's what this open, this the whole open relationship. Now what happened is, I didn't tell her that because I've told her that so many times. I want you to have more friends. I want you to have more friends. She says, I know, me too. Nothing ever changes. So when I told her that I wanted this open relationship, I believe it rocked her world. And she reevaluated a lot of things. And maybe I think hopefully she realized or is realizing right now as I speak with, with Tiffany that she can't live her life on me. Thinking that no matter, you know, everything that she's feeling, thinking, experiencing, everything, it's on me. She can't live her life running everything through me or past me or making it about me or watching me or wanting to be around me. Her life. There's got to be her life, and it's got to be variety, and it's got to be her experiences because she wants to do it, not because I'm making her. I think our relationship has been very, very codependent for a long time. And it's been really, really wearing me out. And a lot of it's been driving me to go to YouTube. I mean, God, maybe that's why I even started YouTube, is because I'm not getting any kind of growth from her little tiny little bits but she is so closed off and it's so fucking exhausting 
I have wanted to leave this relationship so many fucking times, but I'm not gonna let that happen again. Broke up with her like three times. I'm not gonna break up with her again. I, I want to be with her, I'm just afraid of it. I want her to fucking start a life for herself. And I think that's what's happening now. Now that I finally said what I wanted, I think that's what's happening. I'm not afraid she's going to leave. There's, she's not going to leave. We, we, she and I have an amazing relationship. It's not going to end. It might be painful, but it's not going to end. It'll be painful, though. And it's painful because it doesn't end. Because we choose to stay. It just gets... You know, when, when people or I in the past have wanted to leave, I'm going to stay. I'm going to make it work. We're both going to change, you know? That's your job in a relationship, is to change, to make the relationship work. Don't placate the other person, but make personal changes with communication. That's my situation now. Now, I have a lot of stuff I have to do the next few days. I'm going to work on a script tonight, a little more. I haven't worked on it that much yet. I haven't written it out. When I write out a script, I feel like uh, I, I learn it a lot more, quicker. A lot just deeper in my mind and uh, I gotta do some laundry um, I went to yoga today I'm gonna do yoga again tomorrow I guess I'll do all the dishes I'm really looking forward to having some time to myself it's been way too long because if, I, if she's here and I'm here she wants me this is the thing about a man, I think everybody, when she wants me to spend time with her, if I don't, if I want to spend time with someone else, she gets fucking pissed. So that's fine. That's a relationship. You know, that's your, your wife. You spend time with them. You nurture that relationship. But she's always here. Always. Every fucking night. Every fucking night. She, she is here. I, I have like five hours away at a time. If that. She makes her own schedule. I never know when she's going to work or when she's going to be here. And she's always here. And she, when she's here, she wants my attention. So if I'm next door at Kiff's and there's a woman over there, look out because Amanda's here being depressed. What am I supposed to do? What am I supposed to do? Just placate it for the rest of our lives? Just put band-aids on the cut for the rest of our lives? I'm not gonna live in a relationship where I have got to be here every minute for someone. I'm going to inspire her to grow and to be an individual independent of me. And then we will coexist and we will make a constructive relationship out of that. And that's what I'm gonna do with every single relationship I have. That's what I do. I don't put restrictions on people. I want the ultimate connection that doesn't come from you telling someone how to live. All right. Yoga was really great today. Okay, uh, I'm eating this out of the thing. <laughs> you can't stop me. I'm just going to eat it and eat it because I love how it tastes. See you soon, guys.